Hello friends, I am Pratima. I welcome you all to my channel. I thank all the subscribers for subscribing and liking my video. Uh, in this tutorial of GeoGebra, a very good uh, teaching app for mathematics. Today we will introduce how to use inbox tools in GeoGebra to make interactive worksheet for the students. I know so many online, offline worksheets are available, but when teacher can learn something and make something for the students, that is a moral boost and it gives me pleasure and satisfaction. I hope it will be also the same experience for you. Thank you. Let's start. So first, in this video, I'll make a rectangle length and breadth will be given or input by the viewers or the watcher or the user and it will show the area. Let's begin. First I am taking an input box. I am taking length L equals to 3. I am giving a sum number to 8. After that it will take the variable Next is for L equals to 3, I will go for a input box. So, you will click on here slider, we have already used image, button, checkbox and I will go for input box, I will click. Then, it will ask for the, uh, where to place this input box, I am placing here, anywhere on the screen you can click, then you will write, this is my length. Immediately it will ask to which object you are linking this length. So it will be, I will click here, I have given only L is equals to 3. So click on this, then press OK. See, a length. So I made a variable box for length. This is 3 and user can change it. But before that let me speak about this or explain about this input box. You can see it is a very big or lengthy box. So to uh, use it according to our requirements, I'll go for the right click and settings. See this is the settings for the box. It is basic is input box. It has given itself name. Then definition and caption is length. Here I will go for text. These are the two options. And here it is say rounding. Rounding means you can put the decimal also. So rounding to zero decimal place or one. Whatever you want you can prepare. Suppose you are using 3.5 then I'll, you will take up to one decimal or two decimal. Here also you can change the color. It will change the color. It will show in red color or equal blue color. It will be as it is. Then here also background color you can change. Next I go for style. This is very important because it is given such a big inbox but I want to give the length is very small. It will be 4 cm or 2 cm or unit. So here the input box length is 20 by default, I'll change it. I'll change to 6 because mine is not greater than 6 digit number. Then I'll OK or close 20, I'll make it 6. Press enter. If immediately you can see this is a small box. Next I'll go for the break. What I'm uh, what I'm doing, I am making a rectangle of length and breadth are required for it. These are the two parameters. So then I will go for B. B is equals to let me take S. 2. Enter. Then I will go for the again input box. Here I will go for breadth. B and H. Link the object that is certainly B. Okay. So breadth 
again I'll go for the setting to make it or you can sometimes you can make it default also you go to style and make it 6 press enter so, do this one I'm going to this back to this so two boxes we have given to the user to make them uh, feel with as they like next is I'm uh, now this graphics design I'll uh, remove I'll make a plain page to make a rectangle so I'll click here then your for settings I'll go for settings here I'll remove this or uncheck this grids So one thing here, uh, you can make the background colors also, when you go for the settings, you can change the background color, we'll go after that, or you can try so many things you have already learned if you are regularly visiting my website or that YouTube channel. This is the uh, settings we have did here you can change the font size also you can change font size you can make it 20 to, so that it will be visible next I am making rectangle for rectangle I will take the uh, side segment with a given length as I have taken L and B so I am making here L, this is, I am taking the variable length L, I am now taking 3, 2 and this will be so level means it is not showing the length. Then I am making a rectangle, so I will draw a perpendicular line here. So here this perpendicular line is here and the part. So from A on the line AB, I am writing perpendicular line. In the same way, B click on B, click on the line, you will get another perpendicular line. From this, I will select how much? I will say to the breadth is BB because this is AB is L. B. So I will make another line equals to your segment with a given length that is your B. So B is not visible here. I will move this point C on this line. Okay. And I will right click to show level means it is not showing the length. Then the same way I will go from B to make another line click on B then of given length click on B that will be again B ok what is where is here it is here I will move it click on the select tool to move the point or anything you know that means this is a move tool you can move anything then so level one these two i'll hide now this bigger the line not line segment so i'll show object here also so cd is point is there i'll join them c and d okay so this is our rectangle now. So let us check whether it is taking the in from the input box or not. See, I am changing it to 4. The type and center. Okay. 7. See. So this is the interacting when small children will, uh, will feel it. They will find that how this is increasing. All the
next is to get the area so go to input box here this is the algebra we do again for this area i am taking a small c equals to it is l into b so l multiplies b so it is 7 into 5 it is showing 35 to the c 7 5 and just uh, check on the left side c is equal to l into b is equal to 35 now i want it to show it here so i will go to text click on abc text then here here what i'll write i'll write area is equals to equals to c here it is showing only the area is equal to small c it's not showing the value so for that i'll go for this c equals to lb is given then area c i'll click here settings the c see the text in the text we have written area is equal to c but i have not taken the value of c which is given here that means click on this small geogebra icon if it is not shown the c review is equal to area equals to c and if you need some formula it is here if you know uh, want to show some symbols it is here on alpha beta gamma and latex latex formula is r here you can put higher for higher mathematics but we are making a very uh, small worksheet for small children so i'll click on this geogebra icon this will come or if you want to uh, give the empty box so that the child can enter the result you can take an empty box here these are the values given so wh what i'll take i'll take small c okay whenever i'll write this small c just see how it is changing okay so i'll write it area is equal to small c this should you can see the yellow highlighted it will take the values okay see now it is showing area is equal to 35 and if i change the value now it will make in your um, 4 place enter it will be 20 here you can write um, 20 square you get. you can add it taking the text box um, break port see it is a square similarly you can make yourself for the perimeter giving the formula and you can write perimeter is small p twice l plus b so this will i think very interesting for say for uh, your children now here i am showing i am uh, now showing this algebra view so uncheck this algebra view so that you will get the worksheet like this you can resize this you can color this you can color the background also change the background also background color your I can make it a light color okay. so, so this is a worksheet you save it when you are saving it save online you can save you can make a GeoGebra account in the GeoGebra portal 
you can save to your computer, you can export as an image, but when you are exporting as an image, you won't get the interaction with uh, length and breadth. You can share, you can download as, you can print. So I am saving to my computer. So that whenever necessary, I can show it if you want to watch it. If you are teaching online, then you have to share on the online so that the, everywhere students can access it. Thank you for watching.